Welcome back guys to our backyard homestead where we try to live a homesteading lifestyle in the suburbs of New Jersey. My name is Dan. And I'm Priscilla. And uh, today, as promised, yeah. seed collection day. Woohoo! Look at so, how big it is. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, obviously, it was the thumbnail that brought you here. Because <laughs> this guy, when I measured it, it was about 15 inches long end to end, and about four and a half, five inches at the thickest point. Mm -hmm. um, this squash, which I think is one of the first squash that we ended up seeing on the plant, probably mm -hmm. the second one, I think. I think the second, yeah. Um, it just started off big. Like it was just going to be huge, and I told Priscilla, I was like, you know what, we're just going to let this guy hang on there because uh, he's going to be the guy that we collect seeds from. Yes, so we can get. So uh, yeah. that being said, we have collected another squash. So just for comparison's sake, this is one that we collected uh, a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Compared to this one, <laughs> like you can. So uh, big. This is the size you want to pick them at. <laughs> now this is still going to be edible. Uh, it's still definitely going to be edible, mm -hmm. um, but we're going to have to like bake this in the oven. We are not oh, going to be yeah. able to saute this because the skin is just going to be too so tough. Yes. But we want to collect the seeds. Um, so squash, uh, collecting squash seeds is actually very simple. All you need is a nice sharp knife and you're literally just going to cut right into it. And then all inside here are the seeds. Now you can see that I cut a bunch of the seeds in here. It smells so good. <laughs> it actually smells kind of sweet. It does smell sweet. But you can see wow. this guy right here. You can see if that'll focus. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> that guy right there. That's what we're collecting. And you can see he's nice and plump. I don't know if camera's gonna focus on that. Nice and plump is thin. You can feel that there's something inside there. So that is what we are gonna be collecting. And literally, I'm just gonna kind of like dig in here and just start scooping out the seeds. Wow, oh, yeah, look at that. It's very easy. <laughs> No, that's a cut one, so we don't want to save that one. Oh, okay. I okay. see. I see. So but all these guys right here, we want to save. Uh, so you want to grab the camera and bring them in closer? Yeah. So get look. Mm -hmm. So all I'm doing is I'm literally just take my fingers in and scraping the seeds out and you can see all these right here these are all sliced open so they're not going to be viable but you can see how big these seeds are they're all really nice and plump and it's up to you how much you how much you want to save But you can see how many seeds you're going to get out of the squash. Out of one squash, you'll have more than enough seeds to last you a couple years. Mm -hmm. wow. Right down here in the center, I can pull this up. See all these guys right in here. Wow, wow, they're hiding. Don't be afraid to get in there with your hands. This is a get messy kind of job. But you can see just right there how many seeds. We're gonna have from this. Man. So we'll be back with you guys 
uh, once we uh, scoop out all the seeds that we want to keep, and then I'll show you what to do from there. Okay guys, so we are back. Uh, this is all the seeds that we uh, decided that we were gonna keep. We didn't even go into the other squash. As you can see, we still got a lot of seeds here. Um, the main reason for this is right now, our garden is small. Uh, so we're not gonna be planting 30, 40, 50 squash. Uh, one of the big uh, goals of this for us is actually to produce fruit specifically acclimated to our climate. Um, so we're gonna wanna produce many generations. Even this much, we aren't going to be planting all this seed. Um, so, what our goal is, is just to plant a couple squash each year, harvest the seeds from the squash each year, until uh, we have what we feel is a, a very good um, acclimated uh, fruit for what we want. That being said, uh, from what you're going to do from here, uh, I simply got a wire rack that you would use for like uh, letting cookies cool or bread cool. Um, and I just put a, a, a dry towel on it. You can use a paper towel. Uh, we've tried to stray away from using paper towels and just going strictly to our re reusable towels. Um, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put all the seeds and lay them out in a single layer. I'm gonna put this actually in a dark place to dry. I just want to keep them separated so that they all have really nice airflow. Just like that. And actually, oh, that's good, okay. There we go. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, and I'll probably put this down in our basement uh, just to air dry overnight. Um, from there, once uh, they're good and dry, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to put them in a little uh, paper bag, just dump them right in, label an index card with what they are. In this case, it'll be uh, yellow summer squash. Paper clip the index card and the paper bag closed. just like that, and it goes right into our little uh, seed saving box. Uh, this way I can see exactly what it is. I'll also put the date that we harvested them so I know what year these seeds are from. Uh, seeds are typically viable for two, three years, although you dear, do hear stories uh, like with M.I. Gardner. He had, I believe, a 100-year-old tomato seed that he was able to grow and harvest fruit from, which is pretty astounding. Uh, it shows you just how, how amazing these seeds are. Mm -hmm. um, but, but that's it guys, that's all there is to seed saving. The hardest part of seed saving is number one, the monotony of it, uh, to go through 150 seeds to find the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the best ones uh, can get pretty boring. Um, but also I, I found is figuring out what those seeds are and how to harvest them. Uh, all seeds are different. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to this one, guys. Uh, so let me get uh, Priscilla back in here and then we'll close out this video. And uh, uh, so I'll talk to you in just a few minutes. Okay, guys, Priscilla's back from behind the camera. Uh, so yeah, that's all there is to uh, seed saving. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, but can save you a, a, a bunch of money, really. Yeah. Um, also, uh, I have to say, uh, this is not the first time we've seed saved. We've seed saved our butter and squash mm -hmm. uh, seeds before. And there's something special and amazing about growing a plant from seeds that you yourself saved. Yeah. There's just something extra special about that. Um, because, you know, you go out and you spend money and you buy seeds, like there's an expectation like this should grow, this better grow because I spent money on it. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, if it's your seed, you're like, I hope this grows. <laughs> yeah, especially like when we first started gardening in our house, when you bought like 50 packets of seeds to start. <laughs> so I, I made, I made the, 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 the mistake that everybody makes. I bought everything. Yes, everything. <laughs> Every, 
I have yicama seeds. We're not going to grow yicama. We're <laughs> never going to grow yicama. Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, you know, I had uh, delusions of grandeur, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, we have seeds that are probably just not going to be any good. And I think that's what's what we're probably running into with some of our seeds is with their germination rates is I bought them a couple years ago, a few years ago and, yeah. and so their their germination rate has decreased mm -hmm. and it just it is what it yeah, is you know I, and yeah I'm not gonna not gonna squirt that small stuff but you know this is gonna produce delicious food for us oh yes um, in fact we could probably split just this one. Oh yeah <laughs> so that that right there, that's too nice uh, of veg for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I didn't even count how many seeds we, we saved, but um, yeah. So, guys, that'll do it for this video. Yeah. We hope that uh, this video uh, blesses you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I uh, hope to see what seeds you guys save. Let us know mm -hmm. uh, what kind of seeds you guys save. Um, Link us to, to videos of you guys uh, saving seeds. I'd love to see uh, what you guys do and, and uh, what you do differently. Yes. Uh, so that being said, guys, we love you. God bless. Yep. And keep growing. Bye. So down. Guess what, honey? What? They reached the end of the video. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys, you can subscribe to our channel up here. Or you can check out our latest video right here. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, keep, keep growing. growing. Bye. Bye.